Hello and welcome. My name is James Rice and I'm cybersecurity faculty here at Mohawk Valley Community College. And the purpose of this video is to see how we can use the sandbox at C2 Games to be able to uh, uh, set up a practice environment uh, for us to be able to refine our skills. So let's head over there now. Um, as you can see here, I'm already logged into my account at C2 Games. And uh, what, I'd, what I'm recommending with this is if you want to just have a practice environment to play around with, um, start by creating a mini hack. You don't necessarily have to create something to complete the challenge. And if we go ahead and hit create environment on our mini hack, um, this will uh, do a good job of, of setting up a practice uh, a set of VMs where we can go and practice our other skills. Um, and that's really what this set of videos is all about is let's say you just need some more practice work working at the terminal, working at the command line, getting used to things, then, you know, that we, we, we need a place to be able to practice that stuff. And so, yeah, the sandbox is a good place to do that. So as I'm hitting the start button and turning the virtual machines on, on in our virtual environment and hitting launch here, it's, I'm sure it's going to ask me to get logged in again. Um, the reason why I'm uh, emphasizing that we should be using the, uh, the the mini hack to get started is because the mini hack actually gives us access to a couple different types of virtual machines. Um, and so that's really important to understand about Linux is that when you're working with Linux, you actually have multiple distributions. Um, and the mini hack specifically gives you access to a Kali distribution, a CentOS distribution, as well as an Ubuntu distribution. Um, and so it's just important to realize that not every version of Linux and every distribution of Linux is the same. Um, there is a lot of similarity and a lot of overlap with them, um, but uh, there certainly can be some nuanced differences. And so uh, over the course of uh, these videos, we'll be able to kind of explore one machine or another, see what things look like and get a little bit of practice with something that's maybe not uh, uh, what you're exactly familiar with. Um, I'm, I'm oftentimes telling my students like, okay, let's learn how to do something on one, one distribution. Okay, let's come over to another distribution and see, can we do exactly the same stuff that we should already know how to do. And some distributions that are very, very similar, it's, it's, it's really uh, uh, quite familiar and there isn't all, all that much nuance to it. Um, but uh, some of the others, it's like, wow, this is really different. Some of the structure is a bit different. The command that I'm comfortable with, maybe it just doesn't even exist. It doesn't come standard on that distribution. And so noticing some of that stuff, it just takes a bit of practice working with the different distributions. Now, um, I definitely recommend when we're getting started to uh, definitely work, work with Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu, so your Ubuntu desktop as part of the mini hack, when you go into the exercises on the mini hack, you kind of learn the Ubuntu machine is there, ready to be your web server. Um, and it's like, okay, fine, you know, we'll get to that point eventually. But when we're just starting out and we're just learning, like, yeah, sure, Ubuntu is a good one to get started with. Um, but for example, ju just as a quick preview, you know, one of the things the mini hack also provides us, of course, is access to something like a scent machine. And uh, just, just from the start, when you're kind of comparing these two and taking a look at them, it's like, yeah, there, there's a pretty big difference with from our scent machine to our Ubuntu machine, something that has a full GUI that I can click on and use my mouse and go sign in with just a password of password, you know. So it's like, yeah, that this this looks a little bit more like a computer, whereas if you haven't dealt with something that's a command line only interface, then yeah, the CentOS computer is certainly going to throw a little bit of a curveball at you. It's like, well, all, all you have is your command line. And so you have to log in with your username and your password. You got to type it all right there. And it's like, okay, there's no GUI, right? The mouse is not particularly helpful when working in our center machine so we will come back to that one a little bit later in future videos but for now it's let's let's just see if we can get started here working with a GUI understanding uh, some things about our command line and kind of going from there